Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be taking my old Keurig, which is pink, and I'm going to be painting it black. I have been wanting to do this for a while now, but I didn't know how to do it, so I finally looked it up, and this is the best thing that I have come up with. So the first thing you're gonna do is wipe everything down to make sure there's no grease, dust, or anything on your Keurig. Once I was done with that, I dried everything off and then I went ahead and started taping all of the pieces that I did not want to paint. So for example, this little metal piece handle here, I wanted to keep metal and then all of the little buttons and in the very back, there is a clear piece where you put the water and I did not want that to be painted either. And as you can see on these buttons, it's a little bit harder to try to get the shape. So what I did was took a butter knife and kind of edged my way around the button. And then I just add a little bit more tape here and there as needed. And also do not forget the cord. I only went up halfway because I knew that the spray would not spray all the way down to the very bottom, but I really didn't need to do this because it was black paint that I was painting. But if you're painting any other color, for example, white, you're definitely gonna wanna cover that cord. And then I just took a little bit of tape to the top of where the water comes out because I did not want paint to get inside of there. And then I also took and put a little bit of tape around the silver part because I'd like that to show as well. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you would like to, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you get notified every single time I upload a video. And I would really appreciate it if you like this video to give it a big thumbs up. That way I know you enjoyed this video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and start spraying my Keurig. And also don't forget to spray paint your tray and then you're going to let it sit out in the sun until it completely dries. Once everything has dried, you're gonna bring it on in and do the most satisfying part, taking off the tape. Thank you. 
And by the way, if you guys have Instagram and Facebook, I would love for you guys to follow me. I'm at Cute Little Cupcakes Mom. Now that all the tape is off, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down. That way it gets a good cleaning before I put it away. I'm gonna go ahead and put my tray in. And then I noticed these little spots here where I did not get the spray paint. So I took some craft paint out and do not do this. I am showing it to you because it does not look good. It's a totally different color than what my black gloss spray paint is. So what I had to do was take the spray paint outside, spray it on a paper plate bring it back in and then I touched up all the little pieces that needed to be touched up and it looks really really good you can't even tell that I touched up the little spots and there you have a brand new painted Keurig I didn't even have to go out and buy a brand new one I just spray painted the old one that I had thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video bye guys